This is something that most restaurants don't do. Imagine being in Harry Stewart's predicament. And we call that as a steak on a stick. He opened a restaurant two and a half years ago, just as the economy began to tank. I thought, here we go again, because my timing is impeccable. Harry had a dream and a recipe, a way to barbecue ribs and beef brisket to perfection. You talk to any old barbecue owner in the world, and he'll tell you this ain't easy. Very little has been easy for Harry. He's had a string of jobs in the last 30 years, working mostly in machine shops for big companies that, when the going got tough, started laying people off, Harry among them. You've lost how many jobs? Uh, yeah. you don't want to look at my resume. <laughs> for a while, Harry was homeless. For one winter in San Francisco, I lived in the back of my El Camino. A Navy veteran, Harry got help from a veteran's group, Swords to Plowshares. He saved a little from each of his many jobs. Now, as his own boss, he does everything from serving tables to washing dishes. It's like, you know, riding the tiger, you better hang on. He even kids around with picky California customers who want to discuss the lettuce. We don't use iceberg. We're in California, we can't use iceberg. There's a law that says I can't use iceberg. It would be too much to say the people flocking to Harry's place worship his barbecue. Thank you for this time to fellowship together. Blessings. But in these tough times, something's working. It is comfort food. <laughs> yeah. Can I get the cow coke special? It could be the price. The total is going to be eight seventy-eight. It could be the recipe. Look at that. But maybe there's another reason behind his success in this recession. Just hang in there, you can't give up, but you have to remember a lot of times it's up to you. Harry's secret ingredient may be... Brisket sandwich with hot sauce. Determination. John Blackstone, CBS News, Alameda, California.